so you're very much welcome ladies and gentlemen so today my voice is not so good because i have some a little bit of good so my topic is on kerogen and my name is Apil Simon, Sudan Makeri University, doing petroleum geoscience and production, Kampala, Uganda. So, let's start with the definition of kerogen. Kerogen is that part of organic matter in a rock that is insoluble in common organic solvent. For example, when you look at organic solvents like carbon tetra, chloride, when you get a so it's an amount of or a sample of kerogen try to dissolve it, it will not be soluble. Why? We shall find out as we go. So it owes its insolubility to its large mole large molecular size and it is required to break it down. So we observe that kerogen is a dense solid which is insoluble in organic solvent and it is insoluble because of it has a larger molecular size. Here yeah, they are trying to explain that kerogen is made up of long aliphatic chains of hydrocarbons, which are very long. And so therefore, we know the longer is aliphatic chain, the stronger it is. But the one force of attraction, which is holding the molecules together, so therefore, they, that's the reason why they are dense. And also, the long forces make them also insoluble in organic solvent because you know those organic solvents are always they have lighter molecules which are liquid in nature because they are because they are one of those are weak so they are lighter and are lighter. sorry for that noise so maturation of kerogen function of increased barrier and temperature and it's accompanied by chemical Changes. So we know that maturation of kerogen is a function of two factors. One factor is temperature, gradient. The other factor is pressure, gradient. We know that as pressure and temperature increase, kerogen becomes so transformed from a more dense solid state to a liquid state, which is for the hydrocarbons which are generated. So we also know that chemical changes. We know that chemical changes of metals which are present in the subsurface. Metallic iron, they can act as catalysts which can ever break down no kerogen in presence of heat. And the range maturation just a factor which is based on thermal cracking of longer hydrocarbons change into shorter ones. For example, they can break down C15 molecules to C1 molecules. <coughs> So as kerogen thermally matures and increases in carbon content, it changes from an immature light greenish yellow color to an over mature black which is representative of progressively higher gold rank. We observe that when it is not immature enough, it is greenish yellow in color when later color changes to progressively higher gold rank. Why? Because during maturation stage there is only thermal cracking, so there is breakdown of Remove of metallic elements from kerogen matures into thermal cracking and also the elements as ions can make the hydrocarbon either iron to iron to make the one greenish or iron, iron to an iron to make greenish yellow they also become removed with time so different types of kerogen can be identified so we know we have several types of kerogen we have type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 kerogen we know type 1 and type 2 kerogen Example, we have like a generating oil in type 3 and type 4 when they are gas. So, therefore, you know, we can characterize the different types of kerogen based on their origin. And as we know, type 1 and type 2 kerogen when they are associated with either black asteroid or marine environment, but type 3 and type 4 they are basically transported from land and there contain basically two domains of deposit of what plant materials the extra plant materials so figure below shows the relationship between kerogen shell and organic matter so this is our rock we know that in a rock we have 99 percent of mineral matter we look at sedimentary rock which is deposited together with organic matter we know that in that row we have 99 percent of the classic materials in the organic material is only one percent then 
So we know that in that one percent organic material, the organic material is later reduced. Then we observe that of ten percent is other beauty men, while ninety percent of organic material is kerogen. Now we know beauty men is one of hydrocarbons which are present in the source room. For example, those first hydrocarbons which are generated from organic matter is what is known as beauty men. So extract of any hydrocarbons is that molecules that they are present in the source from building and then the solid state of organic matter which is its organic solvents is always kerogen so the basic difference is the state this one is semi solid to liquid state this one liquid kerogen is purely solid and it's dense and compacted together so thank you so much for being with me in this presentation we don't forget to Subscribe for future updates on this channel. Thanks so much.